To convey title to property by deed, the deed must be legally delivered. Such delivery occurs when the deed is placed within the control of the grantee with an intent by the grantor to pass immediate and present title to the property. In the 1940 case Sweeney v. Sweeney, the highest court in Connecticut considered whether a deed was delivered when it was signed by the grantor and grantee and given to the grantor to hold in the event that he predeceased the grantee. Maurice Sweeney owned a farm in East Hampton, Connecticut, where he and his brother John operated a tavern. In February 1937, Maurice and John both went to the town clerk's office to execute two deeds. The first deed conveyed the farm from Maurice to John and was recorded on the land records. The second deed conveyed the farm from John back to Maurice and wasn't recorded. The purpose of the second deed was to protect Maurice in case John predeceased him. One week after executing the deeds, Maurice gave both the recorded and unrecorded deeds to John. Maurice continued to occupy the farm, paid all of the farm's expenses, received all of the farm's rents, and exercised full dominion over the property until his death in September 1938. When Maurice died, his estranged wife, Maria, was named administratrix of his estate. Subsequently, Maria brought a quiet title action in superior court against John on behalf of Maurice's estate. Maria argued that Maurice's estate owned the farm because the second deed was delivered to Maurice when it was signed at the clerk's office. John responded that the deed wasn't delivered, but even if it was, it was on the condition that John must predecease Maurice, which never happened. Following a trial, the court agreed with John, concluding that the deed wasn't delivered to Maurice because there was no intent to transfer immediate and present title to the farm. Maria then appealed the decision to the Supreme Court of Errors of Connecticut.